Hello there, I'm Dennis Branwell from the Star Wars Battlefront 2 team. In this community update, we'll outline new content arriving this month, including a new planet, character, and new ways to play. The resilient clone commando arrives as a reinforcement. Suited to take on tougher foes, this elite clone uses a reconfigurable blaster that can be transformed into a grenade launcher that's effective against enemy vehicles and shields. The clone commando's repulsor blast is a short-range shockwave that knocks back and disorients enemies, while battle focus activates an aura that reduces damage taken for the commando and nearby allies. Additionally, any damage the commando inflicts to enemies replenishes his base health. We're also adding new ways to play epic battles. In instant action, solo players engage in fast-paced battles against an AI bot army to capture command posts. Configure AI difficulty, battle point earn rates, match length, and much more. This month, four-player online co-op is coming to Battlefront 2. Team up with three other players for a large-scale PvE adventure across all Clone Wars planets in the game. And in October, you will be able to choose your faction as well and play through a combination of attack and defense scenarios depending on the planet. And finally, we're thrilled to introduce Felucia, an iconic Clone Wars-era planet. In this beautiful yet dangerous world, clones are launching a massive attack against a Separatist army. This map brings new ways to dominate the ground, from multiple flanking routes to mushroom spores that release lethal gas. There's even more content on the way soon, so stay tuned for our next community update. Until then, may the force be with you.